This brief tutorial will walk you through the process of making an APA style references page using Microsoft Word. Uh, the version of Word used in this tutorial is Word 2010, though the settings and the process is highly similar for any of the recent versions of Office. For this example, I took the first 10 references from a 2012 paper about supervisor value conflicts. I simply copy and pasted them into Microsoft Word document and removed all the formatting so that we can walk through the correct APA formatting for a references page. Okay, so references is a center heading, um, should be uh, double spaced, uh, but should not be bolded. Okay, this is the exception to the uh, center heading rule. The references title here is not bolded. For APA style, each reference should be formatted with a hanging indent. This means the first line is not indented, but every subsequent line is. Okay, you can see here that none of the lines are indented. It's very difficult to tell where one reference ends and another begins. So in order to change this to a hanging indent, there are a couple different options. First, you can use the ruler that's at the top of the page. If you don't see a ruler in your document, simply go to View, and you can toggle Ruler on and off. Okay, but you just go to Ruler, and then uh, you need to select the bottom portion, where it says your mouse will pop up and say Hanging Indent, and you drag that over half an inch. Okay, now you can see where, you can clearly see where one reference starts and ends, and you can easily count the number of references. Okay, if you want to go through and do it um, without using the rulers, I'll just hit undo here. Uh, you can go to paragraph settings and in this lower right corner, um, you can pull up the paragraph dialog box, and then you go here to special and change to hanging, and the default should be half an inch. If something else pops up, then just change it to half an inch and hit OK. Okay, now it's starting to look like it should. Okay, so now I'm going to go through, and the next step I'm going to look for is I'm going to um, italicize the name of any journals. Okay, so when there's a journal article, the uh, article title is not italicized, it doesn't get any special formatting, um, and you only capitalize the first word and any proper nouns. You'd also capitalize the first word after a colon. So, for example, right here on this reference. Okay, but the the title of the journal needs to be italicized. Okay, so I can go through here. Um, these are all journal titles. Now, if I don't want to keep clicking um, italic over and over again, I can use the Format Painter button. If I double click while this is highlighted. It will take the format that's used, the italicized font, and then I can just highlight everything else that I want to be italicized and save myself a little clicking. Now that I've got all the journal titles italicized, I also need to italicize the volume number of the journal. Okay, and that comes right after the journal title. The volume number helps you locate which year this was published. Um, its mo volumes are most commonly sorted by year, although that is not necessary, necessarily always the case. Okay, another thing you need to italicize is the title of books. Okay, for example, uh, this Bernard and Goodyear re reference is a textbook on the fundamentals of clinical supervision. So the title of the book needs to be italicized. Um, similarly, the Brown and Brooks citation is also a textbook, Career Counseling Techniques, so that needs to be italicized. Okay. Now that I'm done with um, italicizing things, I can either hit Escape, or I can just come here and click Format Painter Off. Now my cursor is regular, and it's no longer changing what I highlight into italis italics. Hey, one more thing to check for, um, go through and make sure that after the end of every sentence you have two spaces before the first word the next. 
APA style is two spaces after a sentence. Uh, these are all looking good. Looks like they need an extra space here. Again, if you want to count spaces, I have the um, the uh, formatting symbols visible. Um, if you don't see the spaces, um, it can be very difficult to count them. Um, and you can turn them on and off right here with this show and hide formatting. Okay, these paragraph markers, the spaces, they do not show up when you print. They are just there for you to uh, look at your paper and be able to see the the uh, hidden formatting. Okay, so these all look good. Um, there's one more thing I need to do. I need to double check that there is a space between initials. Uh, for example, here. Um, between H and J um, for the Aponte reference, um, the, there needs to be a space between initials. Um, looks like this is something that needs to be done on a number of these references. The Bernard and Goodyear reference, however, already has a space, so I don't need to change that. Okay. Uh, notice that the journal volumes do not have the issue number. Um, in previous editions of APA Style, you were asked to include the um, issue number of the journal. So for example, this might be, you may see something like this. Perhaps this is the third issue of the 60th volume. Um, that I'm just making up a number for illustrative purposes. Uh, so you may see references that look like this in older articles. Um, but again, the only time you put the issue number with uh, the sixth edition of APA style is if each individual issue of the journal starts over at page one. Otherwise, you just report the volume number and the page numbers. Okay, so I've got the author's name, the year of publication, the title, the journal title, the volume number, and the pages of the article. Okay, uh, the only other thing to point out from this set of examples is uh, for textbooks that have, or any book that has more than one edition, um, after you write the title of the book, you put in parentheses the version or the edition number followed by ed, lowercase with a period. Um, and any books, you list the uh, city where it was published, the city where the publisher is located, the state, if it's uh, published in the United States, and then the uh, name of the publisher. So this is Allen and Bacon, um, and down here, this is also Allen and Bacon. Um, notice that one version spells out and, one version has the ampersand. You want to use whatever is present in the source that you used. Okay, so there's not much to it, but just need to make sure you look over it with a close eye, careful proofreading, um, and make sure you understand how to do the hanging indent, and your reference section will meet all of APA's formatting standards. Okay. Good luck with your writing, and I'll see you next time. So now you know how to create an APA-style reference page using Microsoft Word. Um, for full details on how to spe cite specific sources, please refer to the APA style manual. Um, they have excellent examples of a wide variety of uh, different sources and how to cite them appropriately. Okay, until next time, good luck with your papers.